What should you expect from your leaders in the United States of America? What's reasonable to expect? Not just their basic decision making. Obviously, we have Republicans on this side. We have Democrats on this side. I want low taxes. If you're a Democrat, I want every unborn baby to die. You know, it all just depends. Everyone falls on a different side of the aisle. But what is reasonable to expect for their health? I mean, it's a great question to ask, right? Age does matter. Wisdom does matter. We don't want small children leading the country. I have two boys, 9 and 11. I love them dearly. Sometimes they say smart things. You definitely would not want them in command of the most powerful nation in the world. And we can all admit also, as uncomfortable as this gets sometimes, some people are too old for things. Lots of people are too old to play in the NFL. Lots of people are too old to drive. No one wants to talk about that. And sometimes somebody just might be too old to be in the United States Congress. And I'm not saying anybody is or anybody isn't. But these are questions we're certainly allowed to ask. I know you haven't had to look far in the past year to find news stories about, is Donald Trump mentally fit? We're coming up next. We'll have a Democrat psychologist on to, to analyze Donald Trump from afar. Is, has he gone crazy? Is he senile? Is Trump okay? Is it? And most of those things were ridiculous because Trump is extremely lucid. Trump stands up at uh, rallies and gives two-hour speeches like it's nothing. Trump takes questions off the cuff like it's nothing. Trump's fine. When do we start asking questions about Nancy Pelosi? I've talked about it before on the show. Nobody else seems to want to because it does get uncomfortable. And look, I'll tell you something. If I had a heart and soul, I would be, I would be uncomfortable as well because I've seen people, people close to me, go through the horrible thing of watching their older relatives degenerate mentally for whatever reason. And I don't make accusations. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a psychologist. I don't even pretend to be one. So I don't know exactly what's going on with Nancy Pelosi, but I do know this. I have disagreed with Nancy Pelosi about virtually every stance she's taken over the years. It's no secret that I don't like Nancy Pelosi. However, I've always been able to acknowledge the fact she's sharp as a tack, always stands up, at the, up there at the microphone, and she gives out answers like this. Nancy Pelosi is sharp and slick, at least she used to be. That Nancy Pelosi apparently is gone now, and nobody wants to talk about the fact for the last three years, she sounds terrible. And I don't want to say something like she looks awful, but something doesn't look right. But the, with, with the hand motions like this at all times, with the weird denture thing, with all these other things, nobody wants to talk about it. She can't get through a two-minute press conference without slurring her words or losing her train of thought. And I don't know what's going on with her, and I actually wish her the best. I genuinely do, and her family, because if something serious is going on, that's awful to watch a loved one go through that. But it is a valid question, right? She's not some lowly congressman. She is the Speaker of the House of the United States of America. That puts her number three in the presidential picking order in this country. That's a very big deal. She takes trips abroad. She meets with other leaders. In many ways, she is a face of the United States of America. She steps onto foreign soil, and she has power behind her. So I would like to know that as she sits down with, you know, the leader of France, that she's not slobbering on him while she does so, does so. And that's a perfectly legitimate thing to want. And it's also perfectly legitimate to have the media, or to at least ask the media as a whole, could we maybe ask some questions about it? We all remember that story a few years back where the congressional pharmacist had been giving out Alzheimer's medication to people. I'm not at all saying that's what Nancy Pelosi has or she was one of the ones, but we have people there who are clearly not doing well mentally. But what we don't have is a press that's going to ask questions.